Well, hey guys, what is going on out there this morning? It's Brent Abel here, webtennis.com. Another episode of 7 Around 7. Happy Friday morning. Here we are, May 14th, 2021. I'm in the California desert, Pacific time zone. Another 103, three <laughs> triple digit uh, weatherman report or report forecast for today. Looking forward to that. It's going to be a good workout this morning with my Buddies Dave and Oh, looking forward to that in the grass around nine o'clock. I uh, hope you're having a great day so far, wherever you are. And what I've got for you today is um, I've got a doubles point where we're going to talk about, um, you know, shot choice. And basically, is you want to make them guess, right? Um, as opposed to thinking, well, what shot could I hit that would not get, that would not get touched, that wouldn't be returned, that would be a winner. Um, we're going to get in that in just a second. Before we do, um, you know, I'm reading a book right now, I think I mentioned recently by George Mumford. Uh, it's called The Mindful Athlete, uh, Secrets to Pure Performance, and I highly recommend it. Uh, George, you got a great story. His, his backstory is, is fascinating. And uh, who, who he's worked with uh, in terms of coach, uh, who, who he's coached. And you can also find a recent, it was been in mid-April, a recent uh, podcast episode with Tim Ferriss, F-E-R-R-I-S-S, -S, um, on Tim Ferriss' blog with George Mumford, M-U-M-F-O-R-D. And one of the things that George said recently on the podcast, I think it was, um, I'm, I'm sure it's in the book as well, but just really kind of hit me right between the eyes. And it's very simple, very clear. And that is to make sure that you're living uh, in the solution and not in the problem. And to me, what that really kind of spoke to was, you know, how we react right after a point ends. And especially when we, you know, obviously when we miss a shot and let's say we're going up the line and we miss it a foot wide. And our first response is to kind of live in the problem, right, is to bring some, some negative self-talk to it, some, some negative criticism to it, and hold on to that as opposed to living in the solution. And um, I, I think that if you start, if, 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 if that's the case with you, if, if that's happening too often with you, you're not looking at that mistake that you've just made, wouldn't even look at it as a mistake or a failure, but as an opportunity to, to kind of live in the solution. And, uh, as our good friend Jeff Jacklich loves to say, it's all about monitor and adjust, right? So you hit the ball a foot wide, all right? So we're, we're aware of that. We're accepting it. We're going to monitor that. And what's the adjustment? Well, the adjustment is simply don't beat yourself up. Don't live in the solution, right? I mean, I mean don't live in the problem, excuse me, um, is what's – What's what's the right adjustment? Well, the right adjustment is the solution, which is next time what we're going to do is we're going to bring the ball two feet inside the sideline and trust that that's going to be good enough. The ball might come back. OK, that's OK. But um, I just want you guys to kind of think about that in terms of living in the problem as opposed to let's live in the solution every time. Um, every time we need to self-correct on on some kind of a shot choice situation, a technique situation, whatever it is. So with that said, guys, let's get in today's, uh, into today's episode. And uh, let me go here and bring up the video. Get rid of this little guy here. Um, this is a point from uh, a couple of years ago. And um, boy, I got a lot of stuff showing up here on the screen. So, um, what we're going to look at is, um, and again, this was an exhibition um, from a few years ago. And I'm going to stop, I'm going to slow it down here and right where the picture is, where it's right about here. You can see the ball, right? You can see the ball right in here and yours truly with the, with the shot choice. And, and look, for me, shot choice is initially, initially is what setup can I present to my opponents where they really are not sure what shot I'm about to hit? Um, you know, could I drive this between the two of them? I could. 
Uh, could I lob over Paul, who's in the red shirt? I could. Could I, lo could I, could I lob over, you know, in the opposite side? Um, I could. Uh, so there's, there's, you know, at least a few different shot choices right there. Now, sometimes shot choice for me is based on, what, well, where am I in terms of court position? And, and if I do go in the middle, if I drive a ball in the middle, am I going to be able to keep it down low enough so they have to volley up, hopefully, to my partner? But um, am I going to be able to recover to my half of the court? And so, but all of that is kind of wrapped around, I want to make them guess as to what I'm going to do. And so let's, let's kind of back this up a little bit. Um, I played a forehand, not really up the line, but kind of up the alley. Um, and now I got a ball that's just sitting here. And so for me, the shot choice is really based on, number one, I want to make them guess, but what have they seen prior to this in the match? What, what, maybe I've been in this situation once before where um, I've played a shot, and now they're maybe remembering the shot choice I made. In this case, maybe it was a lob. Maybe it was a drive in the middle. But why not just play a little slice backhand that does nothing more than gets down in front of an opponent? And in this case, um, I, I figured that if I can get it down to my opponent here, that I can at least cover whatever comes back. And maybe they pop it up to my partner. You never know. But my thought here is, Let's let's kind of slide it slow. Let's kind of slide it low and look for the next shot that is going to get either a drop shot, which is going to be tough, or something that's, that gets popped up. And I think the opponent realizes that, you know what, I better hit a perfect shot here or else I'm in trouble. And they just simply miss the volley. So let's take this back again. And I want to show it to you in real time. Um. We'll start here with Paul with the serve. And make them guess. Make them guess. Slide it. And there and there you go. So, um, guys, you've got shot choices there, right? And the key is to make them guess what you're about to do. I've already committed. I mean, back way back before I hit this shot, I've already committed to what I'm going to do early, right? I see the volley coming back to me and I've already committed to my shot choice, but I don't want to give it away, right? I don't want to give it away too early. I want them thinking maybe it's going to be a lob. Maybe it's going to be a drive, a little topper drive. Maybe it's going to be something else, but I've already chosen the shot I'm going to play so that I'm not out guessing myself, right? And and there and there you have it. So guys, look, I want to hear down or here. I want to read down below what's on your mind, the description area. Any questions? Any comments? Any remarks? Uh, you can do. You can leave it there, or you can direct message me at Facebook, or you can shoot me an email, Brent at webtennis.com. Uh, the other thing I've got for you guys, if you want to show your love and support for uh, what we're doing at seven around seven is just go on over to webtennisgear.com. The link is down below in the in the uh, description area. And as a way of saying thanks for your support, um, after you pick up a T-shirt or a water bottle, um, and again, T-shirts, there are men's and women's, different colors, different styles. Um, there's also a water bottle over there that you can pick up as well. And uh, there it is. Um, I'm going to give you a free $97 stroke technique course of your choice. There's seven courses that you can choose from and, you know, my way of, uh, of saying thanks for your support when you go over to webtennisgear.com and pick up one or more of the um, products over there. Let me get back to um, here. <laughs> so, guys, that's it for me today. We're going to keep it under 10 minutes. Um, I got to get I got to get on the stationary bike. And uh, get my little 22 and a half minute workout in, do some core work afterwards, and then some stretching. Uh, and then I got my nine o'clock um, romp on the grass with the fellas. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Guys, it is time. Any, <laughs> any questions, again, 
uh, let me know down in the in the uh, in 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 the comments area. Um, but also, it's time you got to get out there, wherever there is for you. Help another human, whoever that human is. Help them have a spectacular day, guys. I will see you again next time.